All right, so we begin with breaking news from the United States. And the former leader of the far-right Proud Boys group has been convicted of plotting to attack the U.S. Capitol on January the 6th, 2021. Enrico Tarrio has been found guilty of seditious conspiracy, along with three other members of the group. The charge carries a possible prison term of up to 20 years. Prosecutors say extremist groups were trying to forcefully stop the lawful transition of power from Donald Trump to Joe Biden. Uh, let's cross to our correspondent, Heidi Castro, who's live in Washington, D.C. And Heidi, tell us more about this verdict. Well, Nick, this was a long trial. It lasted 15 weeks, and the deliberations went on for nearly 30 hours. And, of course, that verdict coming in this morning that four Enrique Tario and three other members of the far-right group, the Proud Boys, guilty of seditious conspiracy. Their sentencing will be determined at a later date, but as you said, the maximum punishment here is 20 years in prison. Now, this charge of seditious conspiracy, it had been rarely used in American history up until basically now, as the fallout from the January 6th riot at the Capitol continues. This was actually the third trial in which a jury has found defendants guilty of seditious conspiracy, which is uh, a very high-level uh, crime here in the United States. Now, prosecutors said Said that the Proud Boys considered themselves to be Trump's army and that internal messaging between them and also posts on social media, they said that they were wanting to keep Trump in power by any, by any means necessary, including force. As far as their leader, Enrique Tarrio, it was interesting because he wasn't actually present in Washington, D.C. on the day of that riot. However, prosecutors made a case that convinced jurors that Tario was a big part of the planning for uh, the violence, and that's why he was convicted of this conspiracy charge. They pointed to his own messages in his phone that they were just able to crack earlier this year, in which he said, make no mistake, we did this in reference to the January 6th riot. But, so how has the Proud Boys placed blame for the attack on the U.S. Capitol on Donald Trump? Well, we saw uh, Tario's own defense attorney try to make that argument, un apparently unsuccessfully to this jury, but saying uh, that it was really Trump who was behind this ride and that Tario and the other defendants were being scapegoated for this effort to keep the former president uh, in office. Now, of course, we still know that Trump is facing his own legal investigation into his potential role in this matter. He was impeached by Congress, ultimately acquitted of that in that political trial. But his legal troubles when it comes to the January 6th riot, which of course was aimed at uh, overturning the 2020 election defeat of Trump to Joe Biden, we know that Trump is still being investigated for his role in that. Heidi, thanks for that. So Heidi Joe Castro there in Washington, D.C.